CFE technology has been in existence for several decades. The first CFE scanning electron microscopes became available in the 80s already. But the technology was confined to laboratory environments. The stability and robustness of the E-beam could not meet the stringent requirements of high volume semiconductor manufacturing. To bring CFE out of the lab into the fab, we really had to push the limits of physics and achieve things that had never have been done before. Our engineers had to solve two very difficult challenges. The first one was to create an extreme ultra-high vacuum inside the E-beam color. To work reliably in a high volume manufacturing environment, CFE requires an extreme ultra-high vacuum two to three orders of magnitude better than the conventional TFE systems. It is close to the vacuum level found in space. Even under extreme vacuum, a very tiny amount of residual gas still exists. If this gas clogs to the electron source, performance will be degraded significantly. Thermal field emission or TFE technology is naturally self-cleaning because of its very high operating temperature. CFE's ability to operate at room temperature is the main driver for its higher performance. This makes cleaning much more challenging. So we needed to find a way to clear the CFE tip of contaminants at room temperature to preserve its performance advantage. To achieve the required extreme vacuum level, we combined high-performance pumps with specifically selected, conditioned and cleaned chamber materials. During an extensive optimization period, we developed the processes in manufacturing and operations that secured extreme vacuum performance. In CFE systems, electrons are emitted from an extremely sharp tip at atomic scale. Even single atoms that collect on this tip can partially block emission and result in unstable operation. Applied materials developed an innovative cleaning process that removes unwanted contaminants from the CFE tip and maintains thermal stability. It enables low noise, reliable and repeatable performance for high volume manufacturing environments. It took over 10 years of development and intense collaboration between teams in Israel and Germany to bring applied CFE technology to commercialization. By solving the vacuum and cleanliness challenges, we could improve imaging quality and significantly increase the lifetime of the emitter. We also improved imaging speed, which contributed to throughput improvements. It is an amazing feat of materials engineering that we are all very proud of.